Walking around the woodland presents a photographer with lots of opportunities to be creative with light. It's a magical place and the light plays some fantastic tricks. Let's try and capture some of those on the smartphone camera. As photographers, we're always told to chase the light, to look for the light. That's what makes the images. Here in the forest, the light takes on an extra dimension, creating magical patterns on the floor, but also up peering through the canopy as well. So what I'm going to do is break one of the rules that we're also told. Don't point your camera in the sun, we're told. No, rules are there to be broken. And here is a terrific case in point, because pointing my phone directly at where the sun is peering through, and there we go we start to see these little artefacts appearing on the screen. Now these are solar flares and it's where the light from the sun hits some of the edges of the optics in here. It bounces around a bit before it lands on the image sensor. And you see what it's doing is creating some really interesting effects, these pinky, purpley flares, and you just move around and they dance around the screen. These are colours that you don't necessarily see among the rest of the browns and greens of the forest. And that for me helps to create a kind of magical feel to the image, like there's fairies dancing around in front of us. It's almost as though there are flowers floating around in front of us. I love this effect. Another trick you can play with the light in the forest is the silhouette effect. Now, normally we try and have the sun behind us when we're taking a picture so the light illuminates the image. Here what I've done is I've put the, my subject, which is this beautiful old tree, I put the tree between me and the light. And what I can do is to expose on the camera by touching in different places, I can expose not for the tree, but for the background. And that will put the tree in a silhouette. It'll make it darker than perhaps it really is and make what's already a dramatic tree even more powerful. Let's take a look. I'm just gonna to touch on different parts of the screen, which adjust the exposure in the camera. And what happens is, because the camera can only capture so much light in the light areas or the dark areas, it creates a silhouette effect. This tree, you lose a lot of the detail, it becomes very dark, it makes it very powerful and dramatic. Now by all means experiment, exposing on different parts of the screen. There we go, that's even darker just there. And also HDR, high dynamic range. What that tries to do is take multiple exposures to make sure it's got all of the light and all of the dark parts of the image in one, stacks them up. Now that may not be such a good thing to have on here. Again, just move around slightly, you might get some little flares, some little beams of light coming where the sun is trying to shine through the canopy here. That's lovely. The tree in the foreground is stark and dark. The background, the greens in the background look beautiful and rich. It's a really powerful image. 